Hello, welcome to this tutorial and today I'm going to introduce to you a new software called Parabuild. Parabuild, Parabuild is a steel detailing software and it works on AutoCAD platform and BricsCAD. So let's have a quick snapshot of how it works. And if you take a look on the screen here, you can see the name, it's actually written here on top here, uh, Parabuild. Now, we have the menus here. We uh, we have the menus here, two menus here, here, Parabuild Output and Parabuild Modeling. So under Parabuild Output is, is where we generate, we use this to generate drawings. And uh, let me go back to Parabuild Modeling. So briefly, we have sections here here we have sections under macro we have sections under connections and we have sections under cuts and holes and others plates profiles and context modeling so now let's briefly create a portal frame here so to create a, por a portal frame there's an option of creating it manually and also there is an option of creating it using uh, a macro so let's use a macro to create a portal frame very quickly so we'll go straight and click on that macro here so if you click that macro you, you'll be um, uh, this will pull up this dialog box of 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 frames so inside this frame we have staircase uh, staircase with cranked uh, stringers and uh, staircase variety of, of, of frames here so let's pick on uh, on the portal frame i'll pick on it then click ok so the moment you click ok and uh, check a look at to check a look at the bottom end of the of the command line here. You you'll be able to read the instruction here. Select the point that will determine the placement. Now I'm going to uh, to define to define my placement here right there. And the the moment you define your placement, this will uh, bring this uh, dialog box for macros here of of portal frame so inside here you'll be able to set up or put in the exact parameters of your of your portal frame now i'll start first of all with with feeding in my uh, if height here i'll feed 7.5 and uh, apex height i'll feed the uh, 10 meters the span here i'll feed 30 here and uh, how many columns do i need i need 16 and uh, the full height of my of my of my portal frame i'll give it 90 meters right there so this will adjust itself the base will adjust themselves as per number of columns and uh, the distance of the whole of the total portal frame now let me click that and you can see the portal frame distances is, uh, is six meters so the rafters you can change you can change the profile either by clicking on this drop down arrow and this will take you to will take you to a small list of of, uh, of catalog of the same profile ipe or you can go back to the steel catalog here and change to whichever profile of your choice you can come here and pick whichever uh, profile you want to use either that or either that now let me just go back here and we'll just leave it for for the time being on on the default settings we will not will not change the rafters profile and the column profiles just leave it at that what will change is just, is just the span the distances and uh, and uh, i think only that now we'll go ahead and click that and click close and we zoom out we zoom out or if, if it doesn't zoom out right click and, and come to zoom then right click and come to extent you'll be able to see actually this is what we have so what i'm going to do i'm going to switch to isometric view by clicking that symbol of a house on top of the uh, just close to this cube and we'll, we'll be able to see the portal frame created quickly using a macro inside this uh, uh, parabuild I right click and come to zoom and right click again and I want to turn it around like that and this is just a wireframe this is a wireframe you can also change it to uh, a realistic view and come to realistic and you can zoom out you can turn around zoom out and uh, pick that 
turn around and you can you can be able to see the connections here you can see the apex there you can see you can see the haunches there it's pretty it, it, it see it is a good f software to my judgment just my opinion let me just turn that round and let's play some uh, some bracings on top of this in between our rafters so what, what i'm going to do I'll, I'll switch back to parabuild and uh, pick on the bracings right here so i'll pick this one i'll select ok and uh, pick where i want my my bracings to be placed so i'll pick here the connection type the, the gasset plates i'll pick on that and select ok so I'll give it some time and also change at the central connection there and click OK. Then I'll, I'll right click to activate that command. I'll close that and close that. So let me just pull it close so that we see actually what we've done. Just right click and come to rotate. Right click again and pick the first option and turn that round and we'll be able to see this is a connection top here for our bracings on to, uh, uh, between the rafters so this is how it works now let's quickly generate a drawings for this for this rafter so what do we do we'll come to we'll come to parabuild output and pick on uh, sheet manager here so i'll zoom close and uh, i'm going to pick i'm going to pick uh, assembly plus position list classic I'll, uh, I'll select on that right click and uh, i can generate bill or bill of material from here or i can uh, uh, create drawings here so i'm going to create drawings from here i'll just once i've clicked on this i'll pick generate pos uh, uh, position plus assembly sheets so i'll click on that so Remember, this is a trial version, so it has its own limitations. There's some things you can do, we cannot do further. You can read all this in information, meaning it is a trial version. You can tr you can go to their website and uh, try yourself. And uh, I'll go ahead and click click without locking. I'll click on that. Click all. Uh, I need plates member and all members plus assembly. I'll click OK. And give it some time to generate... Uh, the drawings i'll go ahead and click continue yes now our drawings are ready and uh if i go on my left here and pick one of these I just double click and we can have a preview of this you go to a2 you can you, you can see that go to a10 there you can see all the all the details for the gasset plates Let's scroll up and double click on that. You can see that. Double click on the plates there. We can see the plates. Just scroll up, double click. Everything has been generated uh, from that drawing. So we have our rafter here. 15 meters right there. All the details are here. I'll double click on that and see that. Double click on that. Double click on that and see. So remember, this also can be can be printed in PDF and you can share with the with the person or whoever is not conversant with this particular software and uh, he can de he can interpret a drawing in a different format either in in, uh, in uh, PDF. Now we can pick one of these. We can pick either of this. Let me pick a nice one. Let's pick on a rafter. Let me just scroll up, double click on that, double click on two and three. And just move up. Let's just move up or move backward. I'll pick on this. Now, let me just right click on this. Then uh, I want to uh, export it to or print it to PDF. I'll just uh, select on that and uh, come here and define as a monochrome here and go ahead and click OK. Then we can follow it up. We can follow it up on C. Double click there and you can scroll down and you can open it from there and you can see this is what we have. This is what we have or we can go back and check whether we have any of this 
or you can just minimize that and come back and generate another one let's double click on that and see let's see that let's see that four five Let's uh, convert this or, or print this uh, rafter to a PDF. Just right click and come to print as PDF and wait for that. Change this to monochrome and click OK. So we can access it on C drive and just turn, turn out. Uh, scroll it down and double click on that. And this is what we have. Remember this, this you can print straight away. Double click and uh, just try and zoom it out. Zoom it out. And you can see the quality of drawings uh, generated by pa uh, Parabuild software. This is a very nice software. If you want to create a portal frame in a click, you can use this. So it's, it works close. It, it, it's slightly similar with the advanced steel, but uh, this one is slightly much better. To, it's and comfortable and very interesting to use. Let me just uh, scroll up and you can see we have all the measurements right there and let me just uh, fit it to my window and if you take a look at the bottom end here you can see uh, an, an isometric view of the rafter here so that is how it works and that's how it it looks let me just minimize that and close that and uh, we switch back to our, our our model here now once we uh, we've we've seen that how it looks let me go back to let me generate a new one a new model and I'll go straight and we want to work we want to try and uh, generate a, uh, and generate a staircase now we'll go straight on the same same macro we'll double click on it and we want to at least, at least see how this uh, staircase work inside this para build so i've selected on that i'll go ju i'll just go straight and click okay and now define uh, the position w of my placement i'll go straight and click on that position and the moment you click a position this will bring this uh, this small dialog box where you'll be able to uh, feed in your parameters if need be so in this particular case we don't need to feed anything we'll just use with the, with the default settings and i'll just go straight and click uh, uh, propagate and close that so I right click on the screen here and come to zoom and uh, right click again and come to zoom extent so that I'll be able to see all this now this uh, this is a top view of this staircase and what I'm going to I want to see an isometric view of this so to see an isometric view of this just come here on this on this cube and click this small house you're seeing here click on that the, this will take you to isometric view of this in AutoCAD so I want to turn this round or we want to place uh, the uh, the base plates for this column or for these small columns we can come here and click end plates right here and uh, just go ahead and click point, point the positions where you want to place the base plates so we just give some time to, pro to process the information to uh, for placement of the base plates so this will bring the base plate dialog box and I'll pick this one. I'll go ahead and click OK. I'll not set anything here. I'll click on the I'll, I'll click OK. This is just a quick overview of how Parabuild looks like and how it generates drawings and how you can navigate around it. Now let me select on that and close this now. So if if I zoom close, you can see the the wireframe, but wireframe is not really looking nice. So let's uh, convert ch uh, ch change to uh, realistic view and come to realistic right there, and you'll be able to see this. You can just take a look on the threads; it looks very nice. This uh, this is just a macro that generate this. Let me disable the grid and uh, i'll right click and come to zoom here right click once again and come to uh navigation nodes mode and th then click constraint orbit and you can turn this around you can just walk uh, walk around this model and see how it looks turn it around turn it down and see how it looks these are very nice software and 
try use it and uh, this can generate some very fantastic drawings uh, drawings and remember quality is is what matters as long as you can submit or present uh, quality drawings or quality output uh, in terms of work output i think this is a nice progress in terms of tools being provided by developers to to steel designers and detailers this is a very nice one let me just turn it around you can see these threads at the bottom end here it's very nice this is perfect looks much better turn it around so what we are going to do we, we are going to again generate some drawings for this uh, uh for this model so i'm going to go straight and come to uh, parabuild output and uh, go to sheet manager here and click on that and i want to generate some drawings here i can just go straight to to this or generate bills generate bill you can generate bill of quantities or you can just come here and generate that you can just click on that and generate everything click on that and click on that there's a lot of drawings and I don't think we'll wait that but uh, patient space just give it some time to process everything and here comes our drawings are complete and uh, they have been generated so now let's just try one by opening just one of them there this these are stringer and uh, let's pick another one let's just double click on that double click on that you can see that there's a hand railing that is a handrail that is a handrail now remember you can do the same thing you can convert everything or you can print everything into PDF but we, we don't have that time now because it will take some time to to print to make the printout in PDF so l let's just try one just right click and, and go to print as PDF right there or you can export as a, as a DWG and I'll go ahead and click OK and give some time to respond and I'll follow it up here and uh, let's check it's A16 and we'll come to A16 here and double click and open it and this this is a quality of the drawing that you've just generated generated automatically so this is how it looks you can make a print of the uh, print out of this straight to your printer it's very nice and if you take a look here uh, the bill of materials uh, it's it generated automatically you can see this in each and every drawing and the lengths are here and the labeling right in this in, on the spot if you lack this measurement you can follow it up here let me just uh, fit it and you can see the dimension here the length the PR25 you can take a look you can search for PR25 we have PR24 here and you go straight to PR24 you can see the length is 200 so that's it so this is this was just a quick uh, walk through uh, into a para build and see how it works and how quick it can generate drawings and how good uh, are its drawings and how presentable are they so let me just uh, switch back to where we are and uh, let me close this and switch back to the model view and this is where we are before and this is how it looks l l let's go back to para build and uh, right click on the screen and come to zoom here and try and rotate this and i'll turn this round this fantastic this is a nice software so thanks a lot and uh, go try and get a trial and try use this software if it fits you you can uh, make a long -ton, a long -ton, an, an alternative to this it's very nice and easy to use and thanks a lot for watching this channel and uh, if this is your first video to bump into don't forget to subscribe to this channel Amoris Dimba and stay home be safe this is real corona is real bye bye thank you